discover the awe-inspiring places, people, and events that define South Africa's unique identity, from ancient fossils to the struggle for freedom and indigenous traditions. Welcome to South Africa, a land of breathtaking beauty, rich history, and vibrant cultures. In this video, we'll explore the country's diverse cultural heritage, offering insights and inspiration for African diaspora travelers and tourists. This adventure is perfect for avid learners, passionate travelers, and anyone interested in exploring the fascinating tapestry of African diaspora and cultural history. From breathtaking scenery to bustling city life to vibrant culture and active adventure, South Africa's rich history is etched into its landscape, with landmarks such as Robben Island, the cradle of humankind, and the Apartheid Museum reminding the nation of its journey towards democracy and reconciliation. Exploring South Africa's historical sites offers travelers a deeper understanding of the country's complex past and the resilience of its people. Whether visiting the former home of Nelson Mandela or walking in the footsteps of early human ancestors, each experience leaves a lasting impression. South Africa's cultural heritage is incredibly diverse, with each community contributing unique traditions and customs. From the rhythmic beats of the djembe drum to the colorful beadwork of the Ndebele people, there's something to captivate every traveler's heart. First, let us delve into the cradle of humankind. Get ready to step back in time and explore the cradle of humankind, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that holds some of the richest fossil discoveries in the world. Located about 50 kilometers northwest of Johannesburg, South Africa, the site is home to the largest concentration of human ancestral remains anywhere in the world. These findings have led to the out of Africa theory, theorizing that most human ancestors originated from one general spot, Africa. Tens of thousands of visitors from across the world visit each year to see the fossil record in the network of limestone caves beneath the surface. If you want to discover your ancient history as a human being, You'll find this a good vacation spot with many facilities and activities, including loads of accommodation choices, restaurants, coffee shops, conference centers, cycle tracks, horse trails, and hot air ballooning. Explore the Sterkfontein Caves, Swartkrantz and Kromdraai, among other fossil sites, and discover the story of the world as our human ancestors evolved some two to three million years ago. Sekon. The Ukalamba Drakensberg Mountain. The spectacular and ancient Ukalamba Drakensberg Mountain Range is Southern Africa's highest range, peaking at 3475 meters and stretching for more than 1,000 kilometers from northeast to southwest across the landscape, offering incredible natural beauty and a wealth of recreational activities. In Zulu, the range is known as Ukalamba meaning barrier of spears, which does justice to its dramatic basalt buttresses. Early settlers called it the Drakensberg because they believed it resembled a dragon's back. One of the country's premier attractions, the Drakensberg Range, offers panoramic views from its higher reaches, attracting hikers, mountaineers, abseilers, parasailers and skiers to its game reserves and parks. The mountains with numerous valleys and rivers are an outdoor playground where South Africans enjoy leisure time. Pursuing activities such as trout fishing, kayaking, tubing, swimming, 444 trails, quad biking, horse riding, photography, bird watching, rambling, rock climbing, and hot air balloon rides over hidden valleys. One of the world's most famous choir schools, the Drakensberg Boys Choir School, is based in the Central Berg area, and it is a delight to attend one of their regular concerts. Other activities, including white water rafting, helicopter flips, visiting vulture restaurants, 
and the Falcon Ridge Birds of Prey Center in Champaign Valley are also popular, you can also stop at Tokozisa Mountain Cafe, an indigenous nursery in Central Berg for lunch, and browse the art and craft shops showcasing local handiwork. Because of its range of plant life and the richest collection of sand rock paintings in Africa, it has been declared a World Heritage Site. Our next stop takes us to the Ukalamba Drakensberg Park, home to the ancient rock art created by the sand people. With over 35,000 sketches found across the park's caves and cliffs, it's a testament to South Africa's enduring indigenous culture. The sand people, also known as Bushmen, are indigenous to Southern Africa and have been painting rocks since around 3,000 years ago. The oldest rock art in Southern Africa is found in Namibia, which is around 30,000 years old. The art is found in caves and overhangs and depicts the sand's daily life, hunting, rituals, spiritual beliefs and wildlife. The art also provides insight into the way of life and psyche of the first inhabitants of Southern Africa. These paintings and engravings made by ancestors of the sand peoples encode the history and culture of a society thousands of years old. Soweto is South Africa's largest and most famous township and is indelibly linked with the story of the struggle against apartheid. For anybody looking to explore the roots of the struggle movement and meet its contemporary ancestors, the Soweto Heritage Trail is rich with sights and the stories of heroes. Clip Town, this is a place of striking contrast with a mixture of small historic brick houses that date back some 100 years, shacks, wholesale stores, and bustling street markets. Clip Town is the oldest area of Soweto, established in 1905. At the center of Clip Town is Walter Sisulu Square. On June 26, 1955, a 3,000 person strong congress of the people made up of representatives of all South African racial and ethnic groups, including political and religious leaders, as well as ordinary workers, pensioners, and students, gathered here to draw up the Freedom Charter calling for a non-racial, democratic South Africa. Let's go to Villa Kazi Street, a street of Nobel laureates, probably the most famous street in all of Soweto. Villa Kazi Street lays claim to being the only street that has been home to two Nobel Peace Prize winning residents, Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu. 81 Fine Fief, Villa Kazi Street, then now called the Mandela House Museum, is where Nelson Mandela lived in this humble matchbox house with his second wife, struggle icon and firebrand, Winnie Madikizela. Mandela, in the late 1950s and early 1960s, before he was sentenced to life in prison. South Africa's cultural tapestry is woven from the traditions of its indigenous peoples, such as the Zulu, Xhosa, and Soto. These vibrant cultures come alive through music, dance, and storytelling, offering visitors a glimpse into the nation's soul. No visit to South Africa would be complete without embarking on a wildlife safari. The country's diverse ecosystems are home to an incredible array of wildlife, including the iconic Big Five – lions, elephants, rhinos, buffaloes and leopards. When you see a pride of lions resting in the shade in summer, or a herd of elephants crossing the road on their way to the watering hole, it's an incredible reminder of why the untouched wild has always been so inspiring. South Africa's national parks and private game reserves allow travelers to witness these majestic animals in their natural habitat. From the vast plains of the Kruger National Park to the lush wetlands of the Okavango Delta, each safari experience is a journey of discovery. Addo Elephant Park is rated as one of the best places in Africa to see gentle giants up close. As you can see, South Africa is a land of endless possibilities, where cultural heritage, history and natural beauty converge to create an unforgettable experience. 
Whether tracing your roots or seeking adventure, South Africa welcomes you with open arms. I hope you have been blessed and learnt one or two things. When next you think of visiting Africa, South Africa may be your next destination. As I will usually say, LCSNF, like, comment, share, and follow. It's me, Ubenga Omotayo. And until next time, be inspired to succeed.